Hello again, I am Blunty and I was intending to make a different kind of video today, but I woke up to some outrageous news from Apple. Just, just mind searingly frustrating. It, 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 it compelled me to make a video about this because I cannot let this stand. It is an attack on the photogra photographer, photographer, <laughs> photographic. Damn, I almost held the, I almost held the energy there. Screwed it up at the last moment. It, it's an affront to the photographic community. Um, and in case the character break didn't clue you in there, I'm not actually that angry about it, but I do find it kind of funny and weird. And it is honestly a little bit frustrating because it's one of those things that, you know, a big company or a celebrity or something does that weeds its way into the public consciousness and then devalues a pre-existing word, making it basically meaningless. And before I get into the meat of this, I want to give you an example, just to show you where I'm coming from here. The movie Inception did this. When that came out, it was, you know, if you haven't seen it, it's a movie about dreams upon dreams, that are on dreams upon dreams, and these guys had to bury through different layers of, you know, the dreamer was dreaming of the dreaming a dream, and had to get right down to the bottom to find, fix the whatever the solution was. I don't know. It was a pretty forgettable movie, except for the fact that it had that big twisty city thing going on, which was all spectacular, and people get tricked by spectacular CGI and, and into thinking that really not very well done movies are actually good movies. I didn't think it was a good movie. It was an okay movie. But anyway, ever since that movie came out, people will get were, were anything, something recursive happened. Dream within dream within dream. Or if you put a box inside a box inside a box, it was like, oh, Boxception. Because Inception was the name of the movie about dreams within dreams. But Inception doesn't mean recursive. It doesn't mean putting something inside another thing inside another thing. It's all the same thing. And that's not what Inception, Inception means the beginning, the start of something. And that's why the movie was called that, because they had to get down to the start of the dream, the base level, the prime dream. That wasn't the dream, but then dream. That's why it was called Inception. But because gajillions of people out there are complete morons, now verbception has become a way to describe something that is recursive in nature. And it frustrates me no end because Inception has now become a word that's almost useless because everybody on the planet who saw that movie, almost, completely misunderstands what that word actually means now. And that's what Apple have done. Because of Apple's reach, because the this ad they've made, and this is all about a little ad they made, like 40 seconds long, and the, the ad is called Depth Control slash Bocade slash Apple. Uh, and the premise of the ad is there's a bunch of the housewives or whatever sitting around, or mothers, I should say, we shouldn't presume they're housewives, but they do seem to be sitting around in the middle of the day, not working. That's just a little bait for you guys out there, by the way. Uh, anyway, a bunch of mothers sitting around, or at least two mothers, two mothers and one other woman who is, whose motherhood is indeterminate. And they're showing, one of them showing a picture of a kid to the other one, and it's taken with the iPhone, you know, the latest iPhones, the XS Max or something, uh, which has that depth control feature, that portrait mode feature, where you can adjust the amount of, apparent depth in a photo by making the background blurry and blurry and blurrier, uh, kind of faking uh, with some very, very clever technology and, and software and stuff. And it does look quite convincing. I've used it myself plenty of times. I'm not against uh, a computational photography is what they call it. So faking the effect from small sensored cameras like iPhones to something you can achieve with large sensored, you know, full frame cameras and, and expensive lenses and stuff like that. I'm not against that. It's, it's fun. It's cool. It's handy. It's useful to express uh, your, your, yourself in the art of photography. Anyway, so she's showing the picture of the kid. In the background, there's another kid, but he's all blurred out because she's used the portrait mode thing to make the background all blurry. Uh, the other woman goes, who's that in the background? And the other woman's go, oh, well, that's that's your kid. And the other, the second woman takes all offense. Did you, did you bokeh my child? Did you bokeh? Who bokehs another person's child? No, I can unblur it, see? And the basics, uh, basis of the uh, commercial is uh, Apple are just showing off how you can post edit the amount of background blur by losing a little slider. It's really, really cool and, and fun and stuff. But the other woman took offense because her child was being blurred out or bokehed out. And that's where my consternation lies. See, the word bokeh or boca, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I think boca is actually the more accurate pronunciation, but I always say bokeh for some reason. It got stuck in my head and I just say it that way. I know it's wrong every time I say it, but I can't help myself. It's one of those words, but it's a Japanese word in origin. And the actual definition of the word is 
the aesthetic quality of an out of focus area. So those lights, for example, those little fairy lights, that's why I've got them sitting there all prominent and stuff. That's, that's background blur, but you can also describe it as having a nice bokeh because they've got a nice little lens on here. It's nice and round and soft and organic and gentle feeling. That's the way bokeh is supposed to be used. It is an aesthetic quality. You can have good bokeh, you can have ugly bokeh, you can have bad bokeh, you can have uh, harsh bokeh, soft bokeh, all of these, you know, uh, uh, modifying words around bokeh because it's an aesthetic quality. It is not a synonym for blurriness, which is how Apple are using it in their ad. You bokehed my child. No, she didn't. She blurred your child out. Bokeh is the aesthetic quality of that blur, not blur. And the reason this ticked me off a bit is because this is the thing that's been batted around the uh, uh, more nerdy side of the photography community for quite some time. Uh, you'll see arguments in forums and stuff. And anytime someone uses the word bokeh wrongly to describe blur, for example, like Apple did, uh, you know, dozens of people on that uh, uh, sort of echo chamber photography will jump on him immediately and go, actually, that's not what bokeh means. Actually, you know, the, you get those actually correction people because people love correcting other people online because it makes them feel smarter in comparison. You know, we all do it. It's important to know why we do it though, and sometimes catch ourselves out and doing it go, actually, actually, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe that's just a dick move. Maybe there's another way to help this person out understand what they're doing wrong here. But the problem is now that Apple have used that in a commercial, in a commercial not targeting photographers, by the way, it's a commercial targeting uh, parents, mothers specifically in this case, because there's not a dad in sight, because dads never take picture of their kids, do they? Sexist Apple. Uh, <laughs> you know, if it was only dudes, that there'd be a reaction the other way around, wouldn't you? Where are all the women? Um, but it's targeting people who aren't photographers. It's telling parents out there that they don't need to buy a fancy camera to take nice pictures of their kids that have that nice sort of background blur that they see in so many other photographs on Facebook and Instagram or whatever the hell they use. And you can do it with your phone. You can do it with your Apple phone. You can do it with your Apple iPhone XS Tennis Max. And that's fantastic. It's good to teach people about these features so their photos can stop looking quite so shit. <clears throat> Let's do that a retake. So their photos can stop looking quite so much like a mobile phone photo, a cell phone photo if you're in America. I guess I should say cell phone. Most of my audience is yanks anyway. But the fact that bokeh, bokeh, is such as this widely hot button topic for photography communities. And now Apple have just gone, okay, it just means blur. They have just destroyed the usefulness of the word bokeh because everybody out there who is not a photographer now and this is the inception thing all over again that's why i started with that everyone who doesn't understand what the word was to begin with now will see this ad and think oh 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 bokeh is a fancy word for blur i'm gonna sound like i'm a photographer if i say uh, I, I bokehed out the background no bokeh is not a verb Apple have ruined it for us. Just have ruined it. Just ruined. It's ruined. Ruined. Much like Family Guy ruined that word for us all, because now anytime anyone says it, they think of that Family Guy gag. Cool whip. Cool whip. Get some cool whip on your bouquet. Cool whip. What if you put fake bouquet on top of real bouquet? Is it bokehception? That's the joke I end on. I'm proud of that one. Thanks for watching. I'm blind to you. Catch you next time. Do the subscribe, the bell, the bullshit.